What's up guys, this is Jorge Yao and I'm back with another video. It is 2016, I'm excited to start doing more videos. Now I wanted to do a lot of videos during the holiday break, but unfortunately I was busy and also recovering from sickness, so I wasn't, I didn't have the opportunity to upload uh, videos uh, which I originally intended to. So I apologize for that. I'll start uploading more videos soon. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the holiday break. Uh, Happy New Year to everyone. Uh, and great things are gonna come in 2016. But let's go ahead uh, and talk about Supercell's newest game that they just soft launched in select countries. So Canada, Australia, New Zealand, and a few others, I believe. Uh, the reason why they, why companies, gaming companies, soft launch in beta, uh, or beta soft launch in those countries is to get a good sense of you know the analytics so initial analytics from those countries uh, before global launch and it also gives them the opportunity to make tweaks and you know update things and you know just fine tune things before they they go into uh, a global launch so starting off 2016 why not start off with a new game a video about a new game so um, so Clash Royale, if you guys don't know anything about it, it's a kind of a, uh, a sister game to Clash of Clans where it's using Clash of Clans um, basically characters and stuff but in a new type of game. So it's a card based game, you battle, you collect cards, and you battle other players, just clans and stuff like that. So let, but enough of that, let's, let's actually go through the gameplay and play some games and kind of talk through what's going on uh, in the initial game phase. So uh, as you can see, my iPad is in portrait mode right now. Usually I have it in landscape and I record landscape, but the reason why it's in portrait mode is because when I launch the game, it only allows you to play in portrait mode. So that's the first thing right off the bat that I noticed that you can only play in portrait. So I guess on the phone it's better, but on the iPad it feels kind of weird. Uh, it makes recording a little bit weird too because of the, the screen size and everything like that. But then again, eh, it's okay. I can live with it. Uh, so right, right on the home screen, I already completed. So I, I used an Australian uh, iTunes account to download this game. Now, I can't buy gems yet because I don't have an Australian, you know, uh, bank account or even live in Australia. But my parents live in Canada, so I will be downloading this game on the Canadian App Store uh, with a uh, Canadian iTunes account and we'll be buying gems on, on that account, so a fresh new account uh, in a later video. So I will do this intro video just as a Let's Play, I guess, part one. And then in Let's Play Part 2, I'll spend some gems, buy some gems, get some cards, and see how far I can get up the leaderboard. So right off the bat, it's pretty cool. It takes you to a tutorial, uh, which has seven parts, I believe. I can show you when I do uh, the Canadian um, account. But yeah, you have seven uh, seven steps to complete the tutorial. You have a experience bar up top, in the case of strength of your king and towers. And so what's interesting about this is, you gain experience by upgrading cards and by donating cards to your clanmates. So yeah, there are clans, and but your experience isn't based off of you know attacking people or anything like that. It's based off of the strength of your cards. So right off the bat, you can see that there's a bunch of stuff happening all right on the home screen. So you get free chests every once in a while, like every 20 minutes. I think you get a bunch of free chests right in the beginning, which is kind of cool. Uh, and to open the chest, it takes like time. So uh, basically it's like skipping troops, basically. So you train the, the chest and you can either wait the time out, uh, you know, the better the chest, the longer you're gonna wait. Uh, but you can also speed it up and get it, you open the chest instantaneously if you have gems. Now I had this one cooking for a while. It was like a three hour chest. It's a silver tier one, so it should have some good stuff in it. So let's take a look. Got a bomber common card. So cool thing is, you get cards, and there's different rarities. There's like rare, epic, and common. Uh, and then if you get duplicates, what happens is it will help you level up the current one that you have. So there you go. Knight got a common card, but got the fourth one, so I get to level him up. And I got arrows, which I already had, but you know, one more, and I get to level up that. So let's go ahead in the cards. So these are the cards that I have right now. Card collection, I have one that's on deck that's just sitting there in the uh, the dugout, the goblin. So look at the, it's a rarity of common. So I, I don't really want to use that right now. Uh, so I have three rares right now, like a fireball. I uh, got info on that. Fireball, rare spell, you shoot things. Uh, you have the giant, which is, uh, you know, so a lot of familiar faces. Uh, giant. As you can probably assume, it's uh, tanky, slow, but uh, you know, pretty useful. Rare, you got the musketeer. So I won't go into these into too depth, 
too in depth, but you guys can look at the info if you guys want to pause it to look at the info of it. Uh, you can. So you have gold. So you have the current uh, standard currency. You have gold, and then you have gems. So to upgrade it, you use gold. So I'm going to upgrade it. So I collected four cards to get to the knight to level three. So you can see the hit points went up, damage per second, and damage. And this will come into play later once I show you an actual gameplay. So my knight just leveled up, and that increased my level. So I'm at level two now. Awesome. King's Tower, uh, so leveling it up, uh, you'll have more HP on your defenses. So Archers, another familiar face, you can see all the damage and stuff like that. Uh, bomber, there you go. And then you have like basically like spells. So level two arrows, basically it's just a volley of arrows, which I'll show you in a bit. Uh, and I do have one epic, which is the Skeleton Army. Pretty cool though. Um, can't upgrade those yet. So. Uh, let's look at the shop. So cards in the shop. Uh, so you have cards in the shop. So you can buy cards. So knight common, I can level them up if I want to buy 10 cards. Or, if I, or with 40 gold, I can level up my fireball, which I probably will do. I'll do that. Uh, so I use 20 gold, level it up, um, and then there you go. You have a baby dragon epic, 2,000 gold. Uh, pretty expensive. I don't have that kind of gold. Not that high roller yet, uh, and then there you go, you have, a, you have chest. So I opened a silver chest earlier, but you have gold, magic chest. So this one contains gold and 30 cards, at least one epic and six rare. So Supercell is really playing on the fact of gacha. Uh, for those of you who don't know what gacha is, it's a Japanese term for, you know, the randomness basically it's like a roulette wheel you you open a chest and you don't know what you're going to get and there's a you know random number generator associated where you know you have a chance of getting something so as you can see i'm in the australian itunes uh um, itunes account so the prices are kind of wonky uh so let's not go into that yet that'll be in episode two but uh let's go ahead and upgrade my fireball boom fireball level two okay so damage increased, pretty cool, uh, and adds to my level. So you unlock things as you go along. So this is your kind of like main area, right? So you have the arena, which uh, you can play. I think that's more like single player. I haven't really played it yet, but you can unlock certain cards in here, which is pretty cool. Um, I don't know if it's PvP. Uh, I think it is. I think it's PVE. I think it's uh, the uh, single player where you can unlock cards because it looks like you know there's just different arenas. But I'm not sure yet. Haven't really played it too much. So you have uh, this icon right here. Not sure what it does. Do you want to start a training match? Okay. So this is just repeating the training matches. So you have seven that you have to go through in the beginning uh, when you first start the game, and then after that uh, you, you get this home screen right here. So I don't really want to do that because you don't get chests from it. Uh, let's see achievement so this looks obviously familiar it looks exactly like the achievement screen in clash uh let's go here activity log cool so you can see you know i got defeated twice already uh pvp wise uh, inbox welcome to the arena find out more and then you have leaderboards so very familiar look at those the cups looks exactly the same and then local you can see you know lost phoenix is already up there with spencer 23 and you know a couple other players so i uh, can't wait to kind of buy some gems in episode two i'm gonna buy a bunch of gems see what cards i can get and see how far i can climb on the leaderboard so yeah there are there are uh, pretty cool uh clan aspects to it which i haven't unlocked yet but well i'll cover that in a later let's play episode so uh right off the bat though pretty clean uh very similar in terms of the ui and everything from clash of clans and you know with a bunch of added stuff obviously so you have like chest slots and it takes gold to battle uh, you get free chests and then uh, you have clans obviously and then this crown chesting is pretty cool collect 10 crowns from battles to get the crown chest so kind of like relics or things collectibles you collect 10 of them and you get that chest so that's pretty cool what other things do they have clans unlocks at level 3 so I can't unlock it yet and then you have TV Royale which is pretty cool it's just basically like replay so it's more like a I guess a more trending towards esports you know if you ever play dota or like league of legends or anything like that you can watch replays of like other attacks or other players attacks pretty cool learn from them and so on and so forth so that's pretty cool uh so let's go ahead and actually go through a gameplay so let's battle searching for opponents oh man that uh, magnifying glass hate that magnifying glass so here we go so you have two sides enemy side and my side and you have elixir basically so cards are random so he's already dropping troops down so i'm going to drop my knight down and maybe some bombers so the goal is there are three stars just like clash of clans each one of those buildings at the top uh count for one star so and you have elixir that 
generates over time um, and you know each card that you have or in your uh, in your disposal costs elixir to to spawn so you get to uh, so that's three elixir for that archer and then you can use spells like a fireball so I'm gonna use a fireball on that guy see and you can see what card is up next on deck so it is a lot of it has to do with chance in terms of you know what cards you're getting next um, but it is kind of cool because you get to uh, it's kind of like a mix of hearthstone and like uh, tower defense maybe and uh, those ty types of games so but yeah it's very similar to kind of like hearthstone uh, with a mixture of tower defense but it is kind of strategic right off the bat because you want to make sure that you save some of the spells just in case they spam the uh, like uh, the skeletons, which I'll do in a bit, uh, because it does like a wide range. There you go. He spammed it right there, that skeleton. Uh, I don't have a witch yet. I think a witch is pretty powerful, actually, so we'll see. Um, so spam archers. I'm going to spam those arrows. I probably should have saved those arrows, actually. Um, but I'm probably going to lose. We'll see. Uh, hopefully, hopefully I can win this one. I uh, haven't been winning at all, basically, so that's why I want to see, uh, you know, with basic cards, what I can do. Now, if I'm playing the arena, I could earn other cards, too, so maybe I should start off with single-player arena and try to earn some other cards or maybe get some more gold. And, oh, look, he, he already has a P.E.K.K.A. He already has a P.E.K.K.A. So the matchmaking is kind of off right now. It, it doesn't seem kind of fair. Um, uh, so it, there is a time limit. So one tower is one star. So he takes out the first tower. That's already one star. If you take out that town hall, I guess you would call it the the one with the king on it. That would give you a three star. So um, very similar to Clash in terms of that aspect. So you have three stars, and you're basically trying to uh, deploy troops and destroy their towers before they destroy yours. So you got to be strategic on offense and defense because as you're deploying troops, they're also deploying troops too. So you got to be offensive and defensive minded on this. It's real time though, so you know you got to you got to dedicate some time into this. But there is a time limit. Look on the top right, there's 19, 18, you know, seconds left. So you got to be careful on that time. Uh, I don't know what he's waiting for. He might be, he might have. Oh, I might actually win this one. Hopefully, I win this one. Uh, we'll see. So I'm gonna drop some more troops. One cool thing is, you destroy one tower, you can start deploying troops on their side of the base, which is all awesome. Uh, and then elixir keeps, you know. Oh, boom! I, I I killed him. I think I did. Yeah, there we go. So I got three stars on that on him, and he got one star. So I got 30 trophies off of that, and the silver chest. So that's pretty cool. I got a chest from that. Uh, so I'll show you in a minute. So tap to unlock. Contains gold and three cards. Start unlock. So each, each, as you can see, it's three hours. So I have to wait three hours to open this chest, or I can spend 18 gems to open it now. So I'm gonna wait that three hours and see what I get. Uh, for now, though, I got plus 30 cups, so I'm up 30 right now. Uh, I think the leaderboards right now are up to like 1,263. So they probably have some really OP. Uh, cards right now, so uh, I'm actually surprised I won that one. Uh, usually, I haven't been winning a lot. Plus, he has some better cards than I did. Uh, the witch. Um, what else? He has a level one Pekka, which I don't have. So um, it's cool. So you get a. So let's recap this. So you have a total of eight slots that you can uh, put cards in. Uh, so you want to be strategic in terms of which cards you put in, what level those cards are, and then you can see at the top it says average elixir cost 3.7. So that gives you a gauge of like. Okay, well, if you can only hold, I think it was like eight elixir total, or maybe ten. Uh, you know, how long would it take to uh, deploy a troop, or your first troop, or your next troop? So, be mindful of that. Uh, first impressions, though, it's a pretty fun game. I'm interested to see what the late game play is going to be like. You know, if it's whether it's repetitive, whether it's uh, you know, it keeps you engaged. You know, these, these chest things are pretty cool. You get to come back. It makes you come back, basically, to get those free chests. Because I get a free chest in nine minutes, so why not come back for that, right? So, uh, you know, I'm definitely going to come through that. So, But I'm interested to see what kind of cards they have, um, and then kind of the late game. So here are the cards to be found. So there are a ton of cards right there. I'm sure they're going to add a bunch others, a bunch of others. But, you know, each card, obviously, there are levels. Um, and, okay, so some of them said not found. So... 
and some of them are locked in the arena. So yeah, so it's a mixture of you gotta play the single player, but you also have to play multiplayer. So single player, you can unlock other cards like the minion here. Uh, you know, you got barbs and you have like cannons and stuff like that, which is kind of cool because then it intertwines like PvP and PvE. So you're not just playing, you know, PvP. Like in Clash of Clans, you don't really play PvE. You don't play single player very much because it's completely detached from the rest of the game. It, you don't really need it. You don't need it to unlock anything. So there's really no point in having it. So uh, that's one thing that's different here, which uh, I'm glad that they, they kind of incorporated and mixed in, you know, cards that you can only get through the arena. So, you know, I haven't played an arena game yet. I will at some point. I think I'm going to play one right now uh, just to see what it's like. Uh, let's see, level one spear, rarity, cards, un card unlocks. Okay, so I don't know if these are the cards that they have, or this is the card, these are the cards that you can unlock. Can I actually play the arena? I don't know. Okay, this just shows you what it is. So I don't know where and when I can actually go into the arena. Uh, okay, I don't know what level I need to be to be in the arena. Level 3 for clans. Okay, so there is some there is some UI work that needs to be done here, some tutorial stuff. But hey, it is in beta. I just wanted to give you guys a quick overview of this game. It's it's quite fun uh, right off the bat. Like uh, a lot of, I mean, you know, you'll definitely recognize a lot of the things from Clash of Clans. So you know, I'm already level, um, you know, not level 30, but uh, cups I have 30. Jorge Yao, claim my name, but I will be creating a Canadian account soon. So hopefully they don't lock. Uh, one player per name so hopefully I can create a Jorge Yao on my Canadian account and start from there but uh, other than that yeah that's my, my initial thoughts really are you know this game is pretty fun I'll, I'm curious to see you know what other cards do whether the matchmaking is balanced uh, from the first two battles that I did in multiplayer it wasn't very balanced didn't really um, it got hammered basically but uh, it's cool to see like you know level three so some of these players already are pretty high up so pretty cool you got you got the element of you know what cards to choose what levels a balance of the cards between spells and troops uh, you have uh, the daily chests and you have chests that you can open up um, through or win through uh, either single player campaign or through the uh, PvP. So I'm interested to see what Arena is, so maybe I'll do that in the next episode. But first impressions, not bad. Uh, remains to be seen whether or not uh, I'll be hooked on this game and keep playing it for for eight for a long time. So we'll see. But first impressions, pretty good, pretty clean. Uh, a lot of familiar faces, obviously, because it's, you know it's piggybacking, piggybacking off a of clash. So. Uh, but overall fun game. I think this is a, a step forward from some of their other games that they can like Spooky Pop and uh, you know games of that nature. So uh, I'm curious to see. So once I get to level 3 I'll join a clan and maybe I'll do a episode on arenas, uh, an episode on gemming some uh, chests to get some cards and then we'll go from there and, and climb obviously climbing the leaderboards because obviously I want to be number one. <laughs> we'll see about that though. Uh, so yeah, that's basically it in this video. Um, if you like it, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. This is Jorge Yao. Peace out.